show. Uh, disclaimer: I don't. I'm not an expert on this game. I know this game has a really big cult following. I don't know everything about it, but I thought it looked neato. Um, it's kind of a puzzly game and kind of like a social um game, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Not like quite like a dating sim or anything, but oh, it's not like that. But it's I I tend to I tend to just generally like. Because when I was younger and like way more insecure, I would have been like, "Yeah, dude, I like the hardcore games, like the oh, Mortal yeah. Kombat's and shit." Now I'm just like, "Nah, dude, just give me a fucking puzzle game or a platformer. I don't really give a shit about it being fucking hardcore or like anything. I'd rather it just be like just fun more than uh, I care about the atmosphere nowadays." But with uh, even though I just went on about atmosphere. Uh, the very horror show is like uh, it's like kind of cartoony. You'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's got apparently really memorable characters. So I'm gonna be learning this game as we play. So that's why I was like, we should probably this is gonna be pretty involved. That looks normal. <laughs> no, that that's the way it always it like, always comes it's up that right. way. <laughs> it, it's it's just busted. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Um, am I hitting... Am I doing PAL? Uh, we will do NTSC. Okay. I I forgot what the two things were. Uh, we have a memory card, right? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. We'll just say yes to that. Oh, Capcom, huh? <laughs> Capcom. 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 <laughs> so so this one's kind of a kind of a silly fun game um yeah it's got some dark stuff a lot of dark stuff in it but it's like i want i want to say like get your mindset and like don't be like not necessarily raw xd mode walking through a deep forest in a thick fog this is the kind of shit that a hot topic person would definitely eat up how did i get okay. here i should have been home by now Get Sarah in here. Suddenly, yeah, she probably like this. I saw a bright light before me. It was the hotel. Do you need a room for the night? My, my. <laughs> you certainly do look exhausted, don't you? Well, look, then, dude. <laughs> ready for you. This I'm guy, an adult. <laughs> this guy's talking. I got a lot of response with a stroked out face. He's telling me and I, I look just, like I need a nap. Fuck you. And I just <laughs> got done playing Dysthemia Six. <laughs> the, yes, the Serious and the Second Encounter mod. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know a lot about video games. Are you gonna rise up? <laughs> uh, should we name ourselves? Emma, uh, chat. What do you want us to be named? No, an answer fast enough. I'm just gonna name us dicks. The scariest name ever. Oh man, that's uh, a lot on our shoulders here. There's, a, there's like a lot of very scary names, actually. He didn't ask for a very scary name, Todd. Oh. <laughs> he asked for the scariest name Greg. ever. Gregor is the scariest name. I. <laughs> the the mountain oh no 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 wait wait uh the mount oh, hold on uh how do i back up the mountain let's name us uh no nah, i don't have space for that now nah, we'll, we'll, we'll just go with, with, with gregor that's fine all right what was it gonna be <laughs> i was gonna put <laughs> like like the the <laughs> I was gonna put the like the shorthand for the season and episode that the show sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Just put that in as my name. <laughs> uh, 
I didn't want to have to look up the actual days, like the days, actual episodes. Yeah. It was like season, what was it five? Not five. What the fuck was it? Like seven or some shit. Uh, seven was. There were some hints that it was about to get bad. Yeah, it was eight. It was eight. So uh, eight so, was where it. Okay, so season season eight episode three. Uh, G.O.T. <laughs> just renamed that the whole game. <laughs> I would do that. Uh, big guy. Sure. Right this way, if you don't mind. I'll be happy to show you to your room. Better be a good dick say, sucking in there. We don't often receive guests at this hour. Perhaps you've somehow managed to lose your way. Or, oh, or maybe you've just lost your mind. In that general, was yeah. a joke. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Have a pleasant sleep, my friend. You'll be needing it, believe me. <laughs> I don't. But I found out about this game, I think, through Joel. And his playthrough, like... So, so another disclaimer. From what I've, the only playthrough I've seen, this game fell apart really hard at the final boss. Oh yeah. Also during important areas of the game. So, okay, it's very possible it just will not work anymore. Throw away all them worries. Forget about them. I, I don't think we'll get that far necessarily. No, probably not. I can tell you ain't from around these parts. What's the deal, bud? Oh. You're right. Not so fucking got, like, pizza. What is that? The Swedish flag? Yep. What? You can't get back. Hmm. I think Sweden. Okay. Swedish death. Yeah. How's about I make you a little deal? This sounds like Italian. Is to get all the cum. You all gotta collect the all the cummies from the guys <laughs> living in the hotel. We gotta get all this cum out there in the in the fucking jersey. <laughs> gotta go out to Jersey and sift get all, all the, the cum, cum on everything. Sift all the cum out of the fucking like junkyards out here. <laughs> hey, that's a fucking cum. I kind of want like different differing types of font. Just to say that with like a picture of just an Italian guy in his arms. <laughs> It says, hey, that's a fucking cum. Welcome to fucking Jersey. We got cum. <laughs> we got cum everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like audio bugs. That's also a thing. All right. Okay, so I can store items here. So this is our room. Um, basically, this is kind of like our safe zone. Because things, there will be like, huh? <laughs> he clipped my excellent reaction to the jump scare in the in the last oh, one. Oh, awesome! Peeking through the keyhole, I'll, you can see. I'll need to watch room. this one. I'm done. You can see. Uh, you can use the triangle button to peek into other places too. Um, square button knocks. Uh, knock on uh, yeah, whatever's in front of you. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so basically, I never had to knock on. I never had to knock on wood. Um, so basically, you're kind of like in this hotel. You're gonna like you're trying to collect souls for death, and you're kind of like yo, there's like lost souls here, and I'm gonna just spy on people. <laughs> I want to. If basement quality was popular enough to do T-shirts. I'd want one to have, like, the Grim Reaper on it and say, Hey, 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 that's a fucking cum. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, all in, like, Goosebumps font, and then sometimes, like, still, like, uh, like, uh, gunmetal, and sometimes, like, uh, uh, sometimes, like, flames, and then wingdings. <laughs> for, like, a word that you're never gonna know what the fuck it says. Go get the key that's on the counter in the lobby and bring it here. Bring it. And bring it. Bring it here. Bring it. Yeah. So there's a. Just go straight and turn left at the end of the hall. Okay. 
So there, so there's like there's an audio bug occasionally where it just says like the last thing that was said like again. Yeah. So I'm now that, sure that's the emulation. Yeah. Now that I'm hearing that, I know that if we ever got to the end of this game we're absolutely dealing with the insanity of that final boss fight with all the fucking bugs that happen because holy shit (laughs) yeah we're probably using the same emulator yeah it's it probably is i tried to get it to run on my actual ps2 but it it wouldn't launch to the room next door cat that inhabits that room is the last remnant of a family that once caused us a great deal of trouble. That's a lot of words. A most dangerous cat indeed. It was indeed, once a indeed. beautiful creature with fine silky fur. And <sighs> one stormy night long ago. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Someone sewed everything shut. Eyes. Mouth. Ears. Ears. Oh, ears! The other ear! Thing. <laughs> then, yeah, it's gonna be funny. This is gonna keep happening. Anyone who draws near. The manager of this hotel, I simply cannot allow you to have that key. That... This is like the voice actors for this were just like all being shocked with a cattle prod before they shut off the mic <laughs> to keep everybody really spooked. You never know what's gonna happen. I simply can I allow you to have that key. Eh! <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess it's about time I made the rounds of the hotel. I would left this abandoned. Uh, each resident of itself follows his or her own daily schedule. Sometimes knowing your opponent's schedule can be the key to achieving your objective. So yeah, so you kind of uh, there's like a lot of different char- uh, characters living in the hotel. Um, th- I think of this as like Animal Crossing, but like you get to like end the game. Cool. You're just kind of like learning how these characters interact with each other and just kind of getting out of here. Nice. Key to the padlock. So zip, you look like a padlock. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's this. Uh... This is a trip. This is excellent. Next up against it, so we'll let him. Uh... Yeah, basically, I want to get caught with this key. I don't know what he's gonna do to me. <laughs> gonna raise you on extra. There cost. is one character that chases your ass around, and it's so fucking scary when it happens. Damn. Like. It is actually nerve-wracking. It's just a dungeon. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Is it dinner yet? Meat at last. Last name is Neko Zombie. <laughs> My name is Neko Zombie. That is very 2006. I don't need your sympathy. <laughs> Guests in this hotel are planning to keep you trapped here for all eternity. Yet, they're not going to give up their souls that easily. You have to know their weak points if you want to get those souls back. The face looks like a baseball. Their weak points without them noticing. <laughs> I, I definitely see the foamy the squirrel era in this. Yeah, this is like uh, I, I kind of this is like neato because it's just like. Um, that that it's a it's got like a little bit of like there's like so, there's some more stuff going on in the hotel than like what you know at first. Yeah. Um, I don't remember the, how the whole story plays out, but I remember it just like getting darker than you think. Like this person's like, like not spoiling too much. Like this person's like basically been like straight up trapped here. Actually, like the guy at the front desk said, like, yeah, they sewed their face up so they couldn't tell anybody anything, and I just like because they kept trying to escape. 
and they were like pretty good at almost escaping. Oh yeah. So it's like okay, I'm not mistaken there. It might be like, damn. But. I'll peek into my room. Oh, okay. oh, I see. Uh, she's just showing me how to do like certain stuff in the game. This is a tutorial. Then go ahead. Cat <laughs> just freaks out up against the fucking keel. <laughs> like, freaking, like, just like cuts open her mouth and is just like screaming. <laughs> Figure out on your own what my favorite food is. It is. Salmon? Maybe. I'm hungry. Something sweet. That's weird because cat. Not too cold. Sweet. It's not like ice cream. Cake? That's a dessert. Probably a cake or something like that. Cake or brownie? Yeah. Where? Oh, where do I fucking go from here? Let me see if there's any more information I can get out of this. I'm hungry. Nah, I think that's the same shit. Let's spy on some other people. What are you doing? <laughs> Give my dick so What are you doing? <laughs> Like, just like, well, fuck you, I'm getting my dick sucked. <laughs> hey, ew, baby, what's up? Get my dick sucked. What are you doing? <laughs> Is that ludicrous? Uh, was, was yes. It? Okay. Well, it was Ludacris' song. That guy's a different guy. I don't remember exactly who he is. <laughs> well, he was getting his dick sucked. What the fuck were you doing? <laughs> I'm getting you my were, dick sucked. You don't tell you that. Your dick sucked. <laughs> like that guy. Is. Not like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the mentality of like fucking high school and middle school. Middle school mostly. It's like, hey, I'm getting my dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know where the kitchen is. I gotta find some place that has like food in it. Well, this looks really bad. Whatever room this is. <laughs> Let me tell you, when these criminals think that they can get <laughs> into the house, the only place they're gonna find is jail. Kind of looks like a little baby uh, uh, Sheriff John Bernal here. <laughs> yeah. Hi, cute. I'm. Chibi baby <laughs> sheriff John Bernal. I am cubism <laughs> sheriff John Bernal. And things could get deadly. <laughs> My feet lives are, are on the line. <laughs> lives are on the line. Uh, that's one over there. Jail. 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 <laughs> I think it's. I think I have to go to the. Uh, can I? Can I run? I would like to run. I can't run. There is no run. All right, this is our room. I can't go back in there yet. All right. You know where the only place you can oh, is? Oh, oh, I'm stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm like not reading what it's fucking she said, saying to me. I'm like just going up and just fucking walking around. She wanted me to come back here oh. and talk to her. All right, it's probably uh, chocolate. Yeah, crisps would be chips. So yeah, you don't want that. Maybe a mobile phone. Dessert that's sweet and not too cold. Because when I think of a crisp, I think of a cookie. Yeah, and that would fall under the, the okay. thing. But yeah, was it? But this is European. Yeah, they're like biscuits or crackers and biscuits. Biscuits. You're gonna give me that soul you had in this room for some reason? Thanks for the soul. Thanks for the cum, girl. <laughs> Thanks High for the. Five. <laughs> 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 
And you just like, you finish, and you're just like, thanks for the cums. Just high five and you go to sleep. <laughs> like, not next to them, just on top of them. Just, like, just become like a fucking brick. <laughs> thanks for the cum. <laughs> It's like the like most disrespectful shit. <laughs> Thanks for the cums. <laughs> Twelve souls in all you must find. Each of the guests in this hotel is carrying one. Uh, what's a lost soul? Souls who live here are made of drifting hearts and faded hopes. <laughs> so long, and thanks for all the cum. It's too bad that it should fill my bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I wanna watch that version of the Jackers Guide movie. <laughs> You could just edit that. All you gotta do is like, like fucking uh, chroma out the blue in the ocean to be white, and then you just got, and then you just gotta have the dolphins. And then you just gotta record it. your voiceover and then mute the. Yeah, they mute the yeah. fish. He's got mute and just fish. Insert it in. You got, but you gotta take like a Microsoft Sam speak voice or. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be a robot voice because it's way funnier than like any or a twelve year old. Yeah, or yeah, a actually, year old saying yeah, a five dollar. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a little brother, just like them, like, can I get you on rec record saying the word "cum" as loud as you can? Just a twelve year old saying it into a five dollar mic. <laughs> cum, <laughs> cum. <laughs> Game of fucking replicate is sounding like a twelve year old anymore. <laughs> oh. Assholes. That's really ominous. Of course, I'm gonna worry about that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the the parents took a little break. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's have another one. <laughs> Let's have another one. He's almost 18. 18 years yeah. later. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that must have been like a definitely was just like an oopsie. It was just like, yep. Yeah. I just, I just, condoms felt weird. I didn't want to do it. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we said, remember sex? Let's try that again. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that being pretty fun. In that case, you should sleep on the bed in your room if you want to hand the souls over to death. You got it. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna hand some souls. Hey, death! I got some cum for ya! <laughs> Is that a fucking jar? I, was, I almost made a fucking joke. I, like, in my head, they, knowing that the souls, and we're calling the souls cum, and we have a jar of cum now, I'm just thinking about that fu fucked up dude who put the, the fucking rainbow dash thing in the oh, fucking jar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I somehow got sucked into a lot of people having shared pain like a lot of other internet I'm, shock things so with I, that. I'm remembering recently going like, we're bronies so bad. And then I was like, oh yeah, there's that. <laughs> there was that. Did you manage to pick up and he left it on his radiator and he boiled it and cum. Yeah. That's real. That happened in, on Earth. <laughs> the same earth you walk on that you breathe air, that happens. I remember seeing that one movie of the Brony Raid and there was that one guy going absolutely ham on it. <laughs> he was just tearing it up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Okay, then hand it over like we agreed, like we like we Thanks hey, for the jar of cum. Here, I am a floating skull. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the that's like the Bring fucking don't be racist I am a building. Yeah. It's like mm. I'm more concerned that the building is talking to me than anything it's saying. 
Don't hate Steven. Blacks and whites are even. There was like a girl building backup singing him. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? bathroom at night so I keep a fat two cord Gatorade bottle <laughs> alright so so scary story right about, about pee jars by scary <laughs> story I mean just like this one guy it's just like a second hand story so of course the perfect scary story uh oh <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm scared <laughs> so like uh, one of my friends uh, a friend of his um, he used to be roommates with him and he had this bad habit of just never going to the bathroom and the bathroom was, like, right across the hall from his room. He could just go. So instead of getting up to go to the bathroom, he just, any container, would just pee in it. Oh. And would just keep that in his room. He continued to do this for... You sleep well. I think he probably still does this. <laughs> Um, oh no. The the worst thing that happened was his pee jars on his fucking windowsill. And I mean Mountain Dew bottles and also actual mason jars. Spilled onto the radiator. And now it just smells like old pee. And now the pee is hot. And now the pee is steaming. <laughs> Good God. That did not end this man's career of filling jars with pee. I'll tell you that much. Okay. That wasn't the end of that rip. <laughs> there's, there's being messy. I'm clothes on the floor. You would n never dream of being a piss goblin. Man, that's a piss dragon. Don't kid yourself. Piss goblin would lose all the pee they have. Piss dragon would keep yeah. that shit. <laughs> Be the right thing from the monster manual, Norm. <laughs> yeah, goddammit. If I had to learn all that shit about those interesting-ass monsters, I'm gonna use that knowledge whenever the fuck I can. Hell yeah. <laughs> Time for a blood test. Oh, this, this thing is fucked up. Oh. Oh, this is so good. Oh. So, like, she's gonna try to drain all the blood out of your body with that thing. Yeah, it looks like it. That's a lot of blood. Yeah. There. I know this is a rhetorical question. Not a rhetorical question. Uh, I know that I have told you about this, but I'm gonna set this up by saying... <laughs> Have I ever told you about my old DM in the evil campaign? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where he would, uh... Where he, he would like get bad roles and then like confess to like. Oh some very yeah, like shit. really fucking like. He'd be like, so you rolled a nat twenty, and I rolled a nat one, and I can't get boners anymore, so I guess you win. <laughs> <laughs> that like makes you feel bad. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, he would. He would always just bring up something awful that he had going on in his life. He'd also be like, hey guys. If you pay me five bucks, I'll let you shoot me with airsoft guns. <laughs> of course, and that so guy. me and uh, me and Grim, who are part of that, we're like we were like, no, we're not gonna do that. But the other two members of that group super did that, and we all just watched it happen. Jesus, because he offered that up. I guess I'll just shoot you with airsoft guns, then. If you'll shoot me with airsoft guns, you'll give me five dollars. That's like the- that is actually the reason that Mike Judge made Beavis and Butthead. I, that's because, what I, I said. Because, I, like- I totally compared him to Beavis and Butthead. Because Beavis and Butthead's, like, inspiration were two kids that uh, Mike Judge knew in high school who would tell you you could kick their ass for a dollar. Just do whatever you want. Kick their bit and beat the shadow of them for one dollar. <laughs> and and he based that those two characters on on some people who were like that. <laughs> and, and he'd get like super pissed off if someone would finish a cigarette. He would like like I don't smoke, but like some of them did. Yeah. And uh, and he would like. He would, like, have a little bit left, and he'd, like, put it out, and he was gonna throw it away. And when he threw it away, he just, like, freaked out. He'd be like, dude, 
He was going to smoke the butt of the cigarette, and because he didn't, you lose your inspiration. <laughs> Are you gonna smoke? The, there's nothing left. It's the fucking end of the filter, weirdo. There's no, there's no more nicotine but, in there. But some people lost their inspiration for that. God damn. It was so fucking stupid and funny. I'm playing Guitar Hero. Isn't that like uh, that that fucking Fretz on Fire? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Fretz yeah, on fire. I played the hell out of that. <laughs> oh, I, okay. Uh, I'm I'm just it, it is, but I'm just like I'm just double checking if there's any like extra information about how to use the mechanics. Okay. Um, so, so that, uh, big lizard lady with the, uh, so, oh, oh, this guy's here now. Oh! This is so awesome. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Ames, you nasty child! Stop throwing your garbage on the floor! Thought that boy was gonna slip Someone on that dumbass banana peel like an idiot. An accident! An accident! An accident! James! <laughs> yeah, where did he go? The Home to, to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> did he just go in this hotel he can't leave ever? Where did he go? No, I think he went back to his home to love dogs <laughs> and to sleep. To love the dogs. And vape. And vape. We gotta get And Nathan. say how much he vapes. That's what James did. <laughs> All right. So we got to be careful now because, like I said, uh, uh, now you're in danger. I think actually, I think actually, yeah. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, that face you're at your sister's house and now your sister's life's in danger. <laughs> I'll make your job harder by so now the funeral is over <laughs> and all the tears have dried up <laughs> oh she's gonna run away from me <laughs> Tee -hee. I swear she, she she fucking kills you though if you like at some point during this puzzle with her I don't know what are you doing 